Hello guys and welcome to another video. This time we're going to talk about water and I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest ways to get water into your sink, a very high quality water material. So let's get started. Quick pause. This video is sponsored by myself. So if you want to learn more about Unreal Engine 5, make sure to check our website where you can get free high quality courses there for you. Also, you can step up your game by checking our on-demand courses where you can learn different skills in game development. And if you're a serious game developer, make sure to check our UNF game development program where you can learn to create a game from scratch and publish it to Steam. Now let's go back to the video. First, we need the plugin here. So in order to add water to our scene, we need to go to edit, go to plugins, type water. And I believe it's this one, water experimental. I, I, I'm not super sure if this was water advanced. Uh, you can check both if you want, just in case, but that's all you need. After you restart the editor, you will be able to find water. So how do you find water? Well, it's very easy. So if I go here to go to content browser, uh, you can just try to go for the engine folder. So if you don't see it, go to the this icon here in the top right, then go to engine content, go to engine, and here you can type water. All right. So inside the engine, uh, there isn't anything. So make sure you enable plugin content. So let's type water again. And there is a bunch of assets that we don't really need to see. So if you, we actually just want the material. So if you go here to the filters, go to all filters, material, and then go to material instance, then you will see that we have a lot of materials. Well, which ones are you going to use? Well, you can use whatever you want, if, uh, to be honest, but I highly recommend you to use the HLOD water. So what you can do is to go here, go to, for example, uh, let's go to geometry and let's put, sorry, let's go to basic uh, shapes. Let's go to put a plane here and we're gonna, we're gonna drop it. And we're gonna actually just go to HLOD water and you can just click on here. And now you have water. So what you can do is you can actually increase the size of this. So if I change the scale to like 100, you will see that my water is actually, you know, pretty nicely uh, affecting my whole environment. And maybe that's what I want. Maybe that's not what I want. But in any case, like that's that's how it, that's how it works. Uh, I already have a plank here with the water. So I will show you. There you go. So I can cover pretty much entirely uh, the, uh, completely my map. Uh, now, uh, there is a few things that you can do with, with this water. And right off the bat, I really like it. Like it has uh, a very nice normals flowing, like the caustics and everything. It's just such a nice material to have. Very, very easy. One click solution, guys. So what I like to do is to actually go here and go to my folder and then go to copy here and I can create like a copy. So for example, I'm going to call this my tutorial copy and I, I already have one here so I can just replace this. So I don't need to change the original one, right? Um, so if I click on this, you will see that I have a bunch of options. Now there is a lot of options here. Most of them you will see that nothing changed and uh, it can get quite complicated, but uh, I'm going to show you my favorite ones. So my favorite ones here first is the color. So absorption, you can just go ahead. You, you will see that it's like super big numbers, right? So you can just go ahead and change this to like red or yellow, or maybe just change the color of this. And uh, you can even go for white if you want. And if you go for one, 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 uh, you have like a, a, a black sea. Uh, like, I don't know, petroleum, if you if you want to call it that way. So let's move it up. Let's go back to the default values. And that's how you can change the overall color of this. So I'm going to leave it at the default. Uh, another thing that you can do is to go for scattering. And you can actually put like red, for example, or, you know, something like that. And you will see that the color changed quite a bit. 
the colors are changing quite a bit. So if I go for a little bit lower, you can see that as soon as I put like a little bit of red, it's like maybe just some blood here or whatever. So you can just play with it. Feel free to not only use the default values, but also uh, just, you know, change the color to whatever color you like. Another thing is the water opacity. So we can just go ahead and change this. And if we go back to zero, we'll see that we don't see anything. And when we go back to uh, minus 24, if the default value for this, I tend to not change it. But if you, for whatever reason, you want like your water to be have more opacity, you can play around around these numbers, like minus 0 0.59 or something. Uh, you can definitely do that. The anisotropy. So we can we can change this, and also the the refraction is 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 quite cool to be honest. It's quite cool. So you can just change, for example, I can go zero, and you will see what's happening here. Is that it, it looks pretty uniform, and you can you can just play with the refraction a little bit. So I don't know if I have real time here. Let's take a look. So real time. Uh, go real time real time game view all right so just like that oh there you go real time yes we do so and we can just change the refraction you will see that the more you have like it's it's gonna be very very obvious what's going on so you can also change change the refraction from distance if that's something you want. Obviously, this material already very complicated, so you don't see enormous amount of details from distance, which is great for you. The next one is the water roughness, so we can change the roughness, obviously. I don't really recommend you to do this, but if you have a, like a more stylized game or something, uh, maybe you can play with this. You can play with the, with the roughness a little bit. And that's pretty much it. And obviously, there are plenty of ways to make water. Uh, I like, personally, I like to save time. I like to use what Epic gives to me, and you can we can just use like the original water that comes with the engine. Not only that, but every time the engine gets updated, you get like a very nice, you know, like a very nice upgrade for your game. Like sometimes it's sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, you know. But it, it is really it is really cool. It is really cool, and it, when it, it intercepts with meshes like. It, it really like it's so nice to have something that even if you want like a puddle or something like it can work it can work quite well uh so guys if you like this video let us know in the comments give us a like subscribe if you haven't already to learn more about unreal engine and make sure to check our website to learn more about us and if you want to free high quality training you can definitely get it there my name is mal and i will see you in the next one